First off, just want to thank everybody for joining us today. Thank you for being part of the Navigation Trading community. We are super excited to have you with us this afternoon. Can't wait to share with you the information that Ophir and I have planned for you. Just make sure you're, you're free from any other distractions, close out any other websites, turn off your cell phone, all that good stuff. We, we want to make sure that you catch all the value that we have for you today. And as a way of showing you how much we appreciate you attending, I do have a free gift for, for attending today. So I'll, I'll give you the details near uh, the end of today's web class. So make sure you're, you're here towards the end. Uh, I really think this is gonna be really a huge game changer for you in your trading. I, I think it's gonna help take your trading to the next level, not only from potential profitability, but really that consistency that you, that you want with your trading. You know, when I first started trading, gosh, over 16 years ago, we didn't have close to any of the technology that we have today. You know, I basically had to make hundreds and thousands of trades on my own with real money before I necessarily figured out if the strategies worked or not. You know, if, if I would have had the software that, that Ophir is going to talk about today, not only would it uh, have made me a more profitable trader, but it probably would have saved me thousands of dollars in bad trades. And you know, if, you, if you've been part of the navigation trading community for any time at all, then you know we are ultra focused on placing trades based on statistics and probabilities, not hype or emotion or our opinion of what we think the market's gonna do, et cetera. You know, sec successful trading means not guessing on trade strategies, strategies, but actually using statistics and data and analytics to back up our strategies. And many of you have, have probably seen me use the CML, the options back tester in my courses and my trading videos. And this software is really proven to make my trading much more consistent. And as a newer trader, it can really give you the confidence to place trades based on how the trades have performed over a significant number of occurrences. Now, we, some of you have probably recently taken my, our newest course, How to Trade Options on Earnings, which is all about how we profit on trading options around a stock and their earnings announcement. Uh, so there are very specific strategies that you can use to profit on stocks leading up to an earnings announcement, during the earnings announcement, and after the earnings announcement. And, and the problem is, with most traders, they'll find a strategy. They'll learn one strategy, like an iron condor, for example, and they try to trade it in all environments. And, and that's why a lot of people lose money trading because they don't understand when and what strategy to do. And so what we're gonna show you today, and Ophir is gonna dive deep into this, is we're gonna show you how to choose the right strategy at the right time. And this goes for earnings trades, and it goes for our core income strategies like iron condor, strangles, butterflies, calendar spreads, et cetera. So I think the information we're gonna share today could can literally change the way you think about your trading. And with that, I'll turn it over. I'm super excited to introduce our, our guest and, the, and who will be hosting the rest of the session today. His name is Ophir Gottlieb. He's the CEO and co-founder of Capital Market Laboratories, CML. His history includes being a former market maker on the New York Stock Exchange. He is the inventor of the Forensic Alpha Model and co-inventor of the Accounting and Government's Risk Model which are both, uh, both now owned by MSCI. So his contributions to the trading industry in the area of advanced machine learning and quantitative finance have earned him significant notoriety in the financial media. He's been featured in the Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, Barron's, Forbes, Dow Jones, Yahoo Finance, Market Watch, you name it. Yeah, he's often seen on financial television around the country. So uh, we're really excited to have him help us out today. And with that, I'll turn it over to you, Ophir. Ophir Gottlieb. Thank you, Steve. Uh, what a wonderful introduction. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone who's joined. And uh, I think we can all uh, say a good thanks to Steve for creating Navigation Trading. Uh, before I start, just got to give a little disclaimer. It's on the screen. I'll have to read it uh, officially. So the results here are provided for general information purposes as a convenience to the readers or the viewers in this case. The materials are not a substitute for obtaining professional advice from a qualified person from a corporation. Please note that the executions and other statistics on this video are hypothetical and do not reflect the impact, if any, of certain market factors such as liquidity and slippage. Okay, so that was said. So um, I really appreciate the introduction from Steve. 
I don't need this here anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, today we're going to talk about three types of trade approaches. Um, and as Steve said, a lot of it's going to be surrounding earnings. We'll start with momentum trades, which are really just directional bets with options based on patterns. Okay. And, uh, we do this trading analysis. We're going to try to answer once and for all, you know, does momentum trading actually work? We're going to answer that empirically and explicitly. Uh, very much like Steve said, you know, it's, 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 there's, it's good to have a gut with trading, but for most of the time you want to have some hard evidence to know that the strategy you're taking, you know, that there's some veracity to it, right? Uh, I used to say that earning season is like Disneyland for option traders. And I'll tell you why I like that analogy. Um, when you go to Disneyland, you want to have the most fun possible, but you're limited, right? There's only so many rides you can go on. And of course the limits are the lines and the time while well, the goal is to have fun. So for trading, fun means profits. It's just pretty easy to measure. <laughs> and the lines that are the limits of Disneyland, for, for trading, it's our capital. So we're gonna to try to get on the best rides, so the best trades, but we have to keep an eye on making the best use of our capital, right? We don't have infinity dollars, okay? So for the thrill seekers, for those of us that rush to the roller coasters, we're gonna start with momentum trading. And then for those of, those of us that like maybe some high win rates, but aren't necessarily seeking the highest risk, we're gonna talk about non-directional option trading. Uh, as well as some of the wildly false narratives that surround this strategy. Right? So there's this idea that somehow owning volatility is a losing strategy, and that's simply not the case. And we're going to prove that empirically and explicitly as well. So I'm going to play a video. Uh, we like videos because it allows us to get a lot of information in very quickly. So it's a 16 minute video, but in real time when I recorded it, it was actually an hour and a half. So that's the power of video editing and having a script. So I'm going to play a video which is going to talk about momentum trading. It's going to talk about technical trading. It's going to talk about trading before earnings and after earnings. It's going to talk about non-directional trading with options before and after earnings. It's going to talk about buying volatility and selling volatility. And then I'm going to come back live. We're going to answer some of the questions that you've uh, given us over Q&A. And through that conversation, uh, it will lead us through other demonstrations of the tools. So for now, I'm going to start off with uh, a video which is just gonna get straight down to answering the questions that we need answered if we're gonna trade successfully. Let's talk about answers. Does momentum trading actually work? I mean, we've all had great momentum trades and we've all lost on momentum trades, but empirically, does this work? And if so, when has been the best trade entry? Which stocks have worked the best? And what has been the best time to exit? What are realistic average returns? What are historical win rates? If momentum trading has worked in the past, it should be empirical and explicit. And that's it. Also, how about technical analysis or technical trading? Does it really work? It's all over social media and fintech news. And if it really does work, okay then. Which indicator has worked the best historically? On which stocks? At what times? When has been the best time to exit? Again, what are realistic average returns? What are historical win rates? It doesn't matter how much noise there is out there. If technical analysis works, the results should be empirical and explicit. That's it. And what about non-directional option trading? Has there been a way to profit from this low volatility world, this low VIX world, without making a directional bet, without betting on a bull market continuing, or even more abrupt if we go into a bear market or a correction? Again, empirically, does this work? And if so, when has been the best trade entry? Which stocks have worked the best? And what has been the best time to exit? What are realistic average returns? What are historical win rates? Answers, that's what this is all about. We're going to cover all of this and we're going to do it pretty quickly. We'll start with momentum, then technical analysis combined with momentum, then non-directional history. All right, let's go. We're going to start with momentum. We'll start with our first pre-earnings pattern. I call this a directional bet on optimism. So one of the least recognized but most important phenomena surrounding this bull market is the amount of optimism that sets in the two weeks before earnings in the mega technology stocks. We're talking the FANG stocks. Now this is totally irrespective of whether the stocks have a history of beating earnings. In fact, many of them don't. But in the two weeks before earnings, there is a massive momentum rally into the event. What the scanner will help us see later is that while there is this two week pattern, sometimes one week or even just three days presents a better trading window, both with respect to consistency of the win rate and of course total returns. We'll start with two weeks here and address the other time periods when we cover the scanner. Let's look at a simple idea. 
Let's just buy a monthly call option in Alphabet two weeks before earnings and selling the call before the earnings announcement. So we'll get long a call, we'll go to custom earnings handling, we'll open the trade 14 days before earnings, and we will close the trade one day before earnings. We are not taking an earnings bet. This is a pre-earnings trade. And here are the results. We can see across the board, this has been a winner. And just to see what's happening, we can look at the stock price. This is a two-year stock chart of Alphabet, where the blue E icons represent the earnings. What's so interesting here is that while the stock almost always rallies before earnings, you can see that with these little yellow arrows into the earnings, the stock goes down off of earnings a lot. In fact, that's what these yellow rectangles are. This is how many times Alphabet missed earnings. It's just a coin flip, but it never interferes with this optimism, this bullish momentum. While we're looking at this, we might as well look at the rest of FANG. So I'm just gonna put the rest of the tickers in here, comma delimited. As I said, this works with all of the mega tech stocks, but what we need to do to find the best trades is to focus on the win rates. Netflix and Amazon are a coin flip. Even though the returns are positive, these aren't the best of breed. But a good trade turns into a great trade only after we do risk control. So let's drop a tight stop on these calls and also a tight limit. We'll go down to the close trade when section. We will close these long calls if they go up by 30% in a two week period, and we'll also close them if they go down by 30% in a two week period. All of a sudden, the trade is clearly in Alphabet and Facebook, not Apple, Netflix, or Amazon. So let's focus on those two. Now we can see the staggering returns and we can see 15 wins on one loss if we held these two as a portfolio. And just so you know, we're not pulling a fast one on you and that calls always work on these companies. We can just look at the 15 days after earnings. So we'll open one day after earnings and close 15 days after earnings. And these trades are actually negative. So this is in fact a pre-earnings momentum trade based on the personality of this bull market. While we're here, let's go ahead and look at another trade that's very similar. We'll go to custom earnings, and this time we're gonna to look to open the trade just one week before earnings, so seven days before earnings and closing it the day before, as opposed to the two weeks before earnings trades we looked at with Google and Facebook. And this time we'll look at Nvidia. So we're gonna buy a call seven days before earnings, close it the day before earnings, we'll put a stop and a limit, and we'll look at the last three years. And here we can see with NVIDIA, 11 wins and one loss with a 1,352 total return. And if you're wondering how I knew to look at NVIDIA a week before earnings, this is how. We're going to introduce the Pro Scanner, which is available to Trade Machine Pro members. We select Pro Scan, then we select Buy Strategy. We can choose any grouping of stocks, but for now, we'll use the S&P 500. Since we're looking at pre-earnings momentum trades, we're going to scroll down to the pre-earnings section. You'll note that we scan for 14-day, 7-day, and 3-day pre-earnings momentum trades. We'll select the 14-day since that's what we're looking at with Google. The scanner automatically sorts the results by win rate. And since the 14-day scan does not use a stop or limit, the highest win rate in this group of tickers is actually the tech gem Akamai, with 10 wins out of the last 11 earning sessions for a 91% win rate. We can see a 38% average return per trade, and that includes the one loss. That's over 38% for just 14 days. The total backtest return is 426%. Finally, we can see Google, and here are the results before we put in the stop or the limit. We can also sort our results by the total backtest return. So this is for the trader that's comfortable with the backtest that has shown a lower win rate, but larger returns. Let's now look at the one week backtests and just look at the three-year results. So we'll tap on seven days and we'll deactivate the other buttons. We can see NVIDIA here. This is a tech darling that has had immense pre-earnings momentum, showing 11 wins out of the last 12 pre-earnings sessions with an average return of 39% in a week or 493%. For those of us that like trading the tech names, we can select the NASDAQ 100 and sharpen our scan results. We can find a familiar name as well, which is Microsoft at the top of the list, which has won for three years in a row, the one week before earnings, showing an average trade return of 50% per week. Microsoft is one of those curiously forgotten tech names. Let's let the rest of the world forget about Microsoft. We will not. Now this seven day pre-earnings back test and the three day earnings back test, which is really just a tight swing trade, do in fact implement a stock 
stop and limit of 40%. This is our first exposure to the Trade Machine Pro Scanner, and all we have done so far is just look at a very small subset of another subset, which are pre-earning scans, the momentum patterns. But this leads us to one of the other benefits of the Pro Scanner. We can simply click on a ticker, and it will load the back test in our Trade Machine for us. So let's click on Microsoft, and here are our Microsoft results. 12 wins, no losses. And down here is where the limit gain and the stop loss have already been implemented. We can click on custom strategies and we'll see we are looking at, in fact, this one week trade. So we finished step one. We found answers for momentum trading. Yes, it does work. The trade entry can be three days, seven days, maybe even 14 days before earnings. The scanner shows us which securities have worked the best in the past. It shows us when to exit using the stop loss and the limit gain. It shows us what the historical returns are. It shows us what the historical win rates are. So has momentum trading worked? Yes, it has. Now let's turn to technical trading. While there are hundreds, if not thousands of technical indicators, in the trade machine, we focus on very few. Right now, we're gonna focus on what has been called the TTM squeeze, first discovered by famed trader John Carter. This signal is actually a combination of three technical indicators to make a single signal. And that signal can either be bullish or it can be bearish. Now, it's always important to understand precisely what a trade is doing. So to understand this signal, we have written a full-blown dossier with the videos linking back to John Carter's discovery several years ago. You get to the dossiers by going to the Discover tab, and then looking under FAQ, you can go to Technicals and the TTM Squeeze, and when you tap on that link, you get a full-blown explanation of how this works. So not to run too long, we're gonna skip a description, but remember, the details are available through the Discover tab, and there is never an excuse to trade without understanding the facility behind it. And while this might sound complex as we've introduced it, like most technical trading, it really isn't. It's very clever, it's very useful, and it's also very easy to understand. So now we will look at technical trading with options, and we won't pay attention to earnings at all. That is, we are looking at technical momentum as opposed to pre-earnings patterned momentum. The idea behind the squeeze is that for the vast majority of the time, stocks tend to move pretty quietly sideways. Then they move abruptly either up or down, and we're not talking about those big earnings moves. That is, we're here to answer the question we pose at the top of this video. Does technical analysis work? Here we go. We'll stick with Microsoft. We'll get long a call. We will do nothing special with earnings and we will tap on the bull squeeze. We'll go to our settings and we're actually going to set the start date to five years ago. So we're going to get five years of data. And here are the results. Before we even look at them, let's tap on the back test tile to see all of the trades. You can download all of this data into Excel. And if we do that, we can see how infrequent the signal is. It turns out that over this five-year period, which is 1,824 days, the trigger was live for only 218 days, or 12% of the time. This just gives us a great feel for what the signal looks for and the unusual periods when a stock is making an abrupt move. Now let's look at the results. We can see 18 wins and four losses for nearly an 82% win rate with a 664% return. It turns out that the average trade time for this in Microsoft was just 10 days. Let's just look at another FANG stock. We'll type in Facebook. Here with Facebook, we see 16 wins on four losses or an 80% win rate and another staggeringly large return. But here's the real power, or really the piece of data that makes this technical signal so powerful. We've been in an historic bull market for more than five years. So it makes sense that the signal would work during a bull market. But it should also help identify the times when being short the market or with options, owning puts has actually worked. And we don't even have to get fancy with it. Let's just look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average through its ETF DIA. So we'll type in DIA and we'll look at a bear squeeze and buying puts. Now we can see the results of buying this puts with the bear squeeze while in the middle of a raging bull market. We see a 332% return on 10 wins and one loss. And if we tap on the back test tile, we can see that the average return is 29%. Now this isn't a silver bullet, when the trade lost, it lost more than 17%. But this shows the power of this technical indicator. Even in the midst of a bull market, there are periods where getting short the market through getting long puts has been an enormous winner. So that's it. We wanted answers to these questions. Does technical trading actually work? What is the signal for trade entry? It's either the bull squeeze or the bear squeeze. And where do we find discovery of the companies or ETFs where this has worked the best in the past? As always, it goes back to the Pro Scanner. And now we have completed step two. 
We have with great specificity questioned, tested, and discovered the results of patterned pre-earnings momentum and technical momentum irrespective of earnings. Our final task now is to answer, what about non-directional option trading? And here we go. It's long been believed and proven that simply owning an at-the-money straddle in most stocks is a loser. In fact, we can do it with our back tester looking at Google. Here it is, getting long a straddle, doing nothing with earnings over the last three years, buying the 30-day option. This trade has only a 41% win rate and is down 57% over the last three years. But we started this discussion with the question, which is, what about non-directional option trading? Is there a way to profit from it? Without betting on a bull market continuing, or even more abruptly, even if we go into a bear market or correction. And we want empirical results. Does this work? And if so, when has been the best trade entry? Which stocks have worked the best? And what has been the best time to exit? Since we see normally owning a straddle in Google has been a loser, let's try something different. We'll come down to custom earnings. And now we'll look at opening the trade one day after earnings and closing it the week after earnings. That is, it's a one week trade right after earnings. So the stock does its gymnastics after earnings. We wait a full day, then we buy a straddle with the 30 day options. And here are those results. Over the last 11 earning periods, it has won nine times and only lost twice with a 263% total return. Remember, when we did this without using custom earnings dating, it was a 57.5% loser. We can find dozens, if not hundreds of these opportunities where owning volatility looks like a loser and the market believes it to be a loser, but timing it correctly around earnings has proven to be a gigantic winner. And the answer, of course, whether it's before earnings or after earnings is in the pro scanner. So we go back to the pro scanner, we go by strategy, we pick our ticker group. In this case, we'll just look at the S&P 500. We have the seven days post earnings long straddle, which we looked at with Google. Or if we prefer, we can look at seven days pre earnings or even 14 days pre earnings. So these three scans find us the companies where owning volatility, even in this low VIX world has been a winner. So we can answer empirically. It does work. We do know the best trade entry. We do know which stocks have worked the best, and we do know the best time to exit by using our stops and limits. We started this discussion saying we wanted answers to three questions. Has momentum trading actually worked? Has technical analysis actually worked? Has non-directional option trading actually worked? And if so, we should have empirical and explicit answers for each of those. We've answered our questions and we have been empirical and we have been explicit. There are other questions that the trade machine can answer, like has non-directional option trading while selling options worked? And if so, when and in which securities and what are the historical win rates? The trade machine was built to answer questions for traders. It was built to be empirical. It was built to be explicit. And of course, it was built to be easy to use. There's so much more the scanner has, including custom portfolio building, but for now, we have succeeded in our goal. We have answered our questions and we hope you are a more powerful trader for watching. Thank you for your time. Now, of course, we just focused on earnings related trades. If you like trading the actual event, we have a button for that. You can just click only trade earnings and test any strategy you want, whether it be custom or pre-built during the earnings event. And of course, for all other times, you can always just select never trade earnings and you can do the same thing. You can create your own custom strategy or pre-built strategies. And finally, it bears repeating, while we just looked at the FANG stocks, we cover every stock and every ETF and every index in North America as well. The opportunities are there. You just need to find them. So this is it. This is how people profit from the option market. It's preparation, not luck. Thanks for watching. Okay, uh, so that was the video. Um, I'm going to now go to the trade machine live and just kind of take a step back. We'll get back into trading. We'll get back into Q&A, but I just want to take a step back. The back tester has three pieces to it. Okay, so the first part is just the back test tab. And this is where we would do something like look at Google, owning a call, or actually let's do the straddle custom earnings, and yes, this trade is coming up in one day. Um, all right, and then we set our deltas. All right, so this is how, this is what it looks like to own a straddle one week after Google's earnings, so after the big event, i.e. after tomorrow. Okay, so that's the back tester.
Okay, and you can add up to five tickers by putting commas in here. Okay. The next thing is the Pro Scanner, which I'm going to get to in detail in a second. Okay. And the last tab is the Discover tab. In the Discover tab, we send three market insights a week. So, for example, we sent out this uh, after earnings Google trade right here, trading Google options right after earnings. And if you were to click on it, it takes you to a dossier, which shows you exactly step-by-step step the interesting back test. Now, we are not an advisory service, but we do pick up on back tests that are relevant to the time and that we find that are interesting. And then we tell you why we think they're interesting. And we also tell you how to find them. Okay, so the back tester is three tabs, right? This is where you do back tests, this is where you scan, and this is the Discover tab. Also in the Discover tab is a full user's manual. It's a video, so uh, there are a lot of little intricate details about the back tester that you want to know about. It's only an eight-minute video. It only takes, it takes less than 10 minutes to figure out all of this out. It's just helpful to see it. And then we have manuals on everything else. By manuals, I mean videos on the scanner, um, a lot more detail on the opportunity and earnings options trading before and after. It's even more uh, detailed than the video we just saw and things like that. Also details on the uh, technicals, the TTM squeeze. I'm just going to take a second and go to um, <clears throat> and go to show you just a few more things in the scanner. Okay, first of all, what we do on the, you go buy strategy in the scanner and then you pick your ticker group, for example, the NASDAQ 100. And then these are all the trades that we scan for. The TTM squeeze, so that technical indicator you saw is going to be in the product by the end of this month. So where it says, you know, never trade earnings right here, there's gonna be two more boxes. It'll say a bull squeeze and a bear squeeze. And when you run that scan, not only will it show you the companies where this technical indicator has worked the best, it will also tell you exactly when a company is in a squeeze and at what price the trade would start. Okay, so it'll be really explicit. By the end of the year, we'll also have alerts in there so you can sign up for text alerts or email alerts if you want to, to know when a certain stock is breaking out or when, when earnings are coming up for a stock, things like that. Um, post earnings, uh, we looked at the one week straddle, that's after earnings, but there's also the 21 day post earnings uh, short iron condor. This works particularly well with companies that after the earnings event, they tend to kind of fall into this equilibrium. So I'll just run this scan very quickly and I will sort by the win rate. All right, so you can see here's Facebook. So Facebook generally after earnings, I can actually click on this back test. Here we go. For the th last three years, this trade has won 11 of the last 12 times, and I'm just doing a 35.15 iron condor. I'm opening it two days after earnings, so I'm, I'm letting the stock have two days of kind of gymnastics after earnings and then holding it for three weeks. And then I have a stop and a limit here set at 40%. Okay, so we have that. We also have a short put spreads the month after earnings, and this is a pretty unique to a bull market. After earnings, even if a stock just totally craters and blows itself up, if you wait a day after and then just sell a put spread, uh, for many of these uh, liquid tech names, that tends to be all right, which is to say that in the day following earnings, all of the reaction kind of comes out. The stock just vomits on itself and, oh my God, it's terrible. Or if it's good news, like, oh, it's, it's amazing. And then it just gets pretty calm. And so you can see that works really well in T-Mobile, for example, and some other uh, names that I'm sure you're familiar with. Uh, Apple is the one that I'll bring up because Apple has earnings coming out November 2nd. But the best trade we found in Apple is in fact not before earnings, but rather right after earnings. You can see I did over the last two years as well. So eight winners in a row. Okay. So those are the post earnings trades. The pre earnings trades, we have the three day, seven day, 14 day momentum trades, right? Just like buying calls, directional bets. Um, and we also have straddles. We also have a custom strategy, which is a vol scalp. I won't cover it now, but for those of you that consider yourselves option experts, this is an option expert trade where you're buying one straddle that's uh, 30 days away and selling a straddle that's one week before earnings. And it's a vol scalp. It's a pretty low risk trade and it's very few times that it works, but for the companies it does work, it, ten does work. it tends to work consistently. And you can see that here, for example, in Facebook and Amazon, Nvidia and Baidu before earnings, it tends to work very, very well, okay? Uh, another part of the scanner is that you can actually just put in a list of tickers if you're only interested in certain companies. So I'm just going to, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to put in the FANG stocks, uh, double A, double N. So Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, 
NVIDIA and Google. Okay. But you can put up you can put up to 100 stocks here. And then you just click outside the box. And now it's going to show you every single strategy for just those tickers. And then you can sort by the strategy name or you can sort by the win rate. And this is how you actually create a portfolio of option trades, right? You don't want all of your option trades to be bullish. You don't want all of your option trades to own volatility. So if you've got a bullish trade on, maybe you should have, uh, you know, a bear squeeze on. Or if you're owning volatility in a stock, maybe you should sell an iron condor with another stock. And so this is how you create your portfolio of trades, all with high win rates in the past. And so uh, feel free to use this part of the pro scanner. Again, just put tickers comma delimited and you can put it up to 100. Uh, if you're using Google Chrome, you can actually even move this little text box. If you don't have Chrome, you won't see that, but it's okay. It still takes 100 tickers. Okay. So uh, that concludes uh, my formal presentation. There is one question that I wanted to answer that was asked here, and I said I would answer it live. And the question is, do you have a filter based on IVR or IV percentile? So we don't have IV percentile as a uh, filter yet. It's coming. The way we work with the trade machine community is that every month we send out a poll and we ask everyone what they want and we get thousands of responses and people tell us what they want and then we build it. So the scanner is less than a month old. Everyone said they want to run, we built it. The um, technicals that we just added or that are coming in five days, that was the one that won the poll last month. And in a few days, we're going to be sending out another poll and say, okay, what do you want? And IV percentiles always on there and as well as uh, some other things like new scans and things like that. So, um, the community determines what we build, uh, and that's because we build the tool for you, right? We're not a successful company unless this is helping you trade. Otherwise, the software is utterly useless, right? So um, that completes my formal presentation. I think Steve wanted to tell you something about an offer he has. And so, Steve, if you're ready, you can go ahead and kind of take control of the screen. So there's a there's actually a couple more questions, Ophir, that I oh, sorry. one I did have one thing I, I didn't do any, either of us a service. I'm sorry. There is a special right now on pricing. I apologize. Uh, normally, the Trade Machine Pro that you saw is ninety nine dollars a month. Uh, it's going to go up to hundred and twenty nine dollars a month when we add the technicals. But through navigation trading, there is a special right now where it's only sixty nine dollars a month. We go month to month. Here's the URL. Feel free to sign up. So it's uh, cmlviz.com nav t. Okay. Um, now, while you will see the pro people paying ninety nine dollars or one hundred twenty nine dollars a month, we have a deal with all of our members, right? Once you sign up for a certain price, that's it. Your price will never go up. And so, at some point, Trade Machine will be so full featured that there will be a version that costs five hundred dollars a month. You will have that version, but for sixty nine dollars a month. Um, and so that's uh, that's the special pricing that we have with Navigation Trading. This pricing ends at the end of the month as we start adding our technicals and we build uh, the features out. So this is the URL. And just to make sure you are on the right page, it's going to look like this. So you'll see both logos, Navigation Trading, Capital Market Laboratories, OK? And then you just scroll down. You can see the videos and everything. So this is the link to get the discount. Uh, just note that we go month to month. And if you sign up and after the first couple of weeks, you're just like, you know, this just, you know, this just isn't for me. We always give a refund for the first month. So anyone who doesn't like it after the first month, it's just no questions asked. We don't prorate and give you back $27 and 17 cents or something. We just, we just give you back your month. Uh, we we're only successful if you're successful. And there's uh, just no purpose in keeping a one month subscription. If, if you didn't like it. All right. Sorry about that. See, so didn't interrupt. Uh, go ahead. No, that's great. Thank you. That was one of the questions. Um, the other question uh, that Sri had was, as far as right now, it, it backtests up to three years. Is there... Um, so actually... How, uh, how far will it go? Yeah, so that's a great question. So this is, since you're on this webinar, you get a little uh, special treat. It looks like the backtester only has three years, right? So here. Turns out that if you go to the settings, Okay, so that's ev almost everything the back tester is set up through the settings gear. Uh, actually, my air conditioning just clicked on. Give me one second, I wanna turn it off because I have a feeling it's blowing my mic up. Hold on just one second, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. So one of the uh, dangers of living in LA where it's 103 degrees on October. Okay, um, so if you go to the settings gear, this controls all of the um, 
custom features for you. So for example, the number of contracts you want to trade, your commissions, the deltas you're looking at, you can actually go to the start date and we actually do go back five years. So you can just type in 2012 and all of a sudden you're going to get a five year back test. So while it seems like there's three years of data, there's actually five and there's actually more than five because it keeps building. So every day it gets longer. It's actually closer to six right now. So, and then another question from Grant was, so um, when you, when they sign up for the scanner back tester, they're going to automatically get uh, updates with the different um, emails that you send out as far as potential candidates that you, you have found as, as, as far as uh, potentially good trades. Correct. So it will always be on the discover tab, but we send these as emails. So um, for example, today, today's the 26th every member of trade machine uh, got this email about Marriott. There's sort of, there's a double pattern going on one week before earnings in Marriott. Uh, this is actually, uh, here, I'll show you. We talked about Marriott last earnings season. Oh, how funny. Yeah, so <laughs> on August 7th, no, on July 31st, we looked at it and it worked for us nicely. It turns out there's a second pattern we found inside Marriott, which is similar. So we just sent that out. So yes, you get these e by email or you can always go to the Discover tab to see a full library of them, yes. And Stanley asked, what is the learning curve? I, I would tell you this, I mean, if you have any experience trading at all, navigating through the, the CML trade machine, the back tester scanner, it is simple. I mean, I, I literally picked it up, you know, with just, just using it a few times. So it's put together very well very easy to use, very user-friendly. Yeah, and um, uh, th thanks for that, Steve. Uh, we, we certainly make it so that it's usable, um, but there is a full user's manual. And just to show you how easy the back tester is to use, this is a like a comprehensive review of how to use the back tester. It's eight minutes and 48 seconds. So in eight minutes and 48 seconds, we go through the entire back tester. Now, this is not about trading. This is about how to use the back tester, right? Uh, we go through, here, I'll show us. Gonna cover the full. So we go through 10 chapters in about nine minutes. So yeah, the learning curve is fast. Also uh, in our dossiers, so here's the Marriott one we sent, we just automatically tend to be educational. So we say, hey, this is why we're looking at Marriott, et cetera, et cetera. But as we do it, we say, here's how you would set it up. Here's where you put your stops and limits. Here's how you find it in the scanner. So everything we send to our community is automatically educational. Um, so the learning curve is fast and we try to um, try to help that with uh, everything that we send out to the community. And then uh, Ophir, I don't know if you have, uh, if you can do this quickly, but we had one question um, asking about testing calendar spreads. I know there's a way to kind of custom work your way through that. Sure, yeah, so that's a great one. Um, I'm gonna show you a ridiculous calendar spread that I found accidentally. But the way you build a calendar spread is so, okay, if the strategy you wanna do is sort of generic, you can just cl check, uh, click call, put card call, put spread, et cetera, et cetera, go longer, short. But if it doesn't exist like the calendar spread, you just build it yourself. So let's build a calendar spread. So you click custom and you click add. Oh, by the way, before I do it, there's a video right here that shows you how to do this. So you don't have to memorize this. Everything we have is in the Discover tab. It'll show you how to do things. So for example, um, somewhere in here, we have uh, the custom, custom uh, strategy builder. And so it's all there for you. But let's, let's actually do it. I think it's a really worthy idea. So let's go to custom, add. I'm gonna go long a 50 delta call. That's 30 days to expiration. Okay, just click add. Then I want to short a 25 delta call every week. And I keep selling that, that 25 delta call against my, my at the money call. Now, careful here. So if you, if you select close all legs with front month options, it's going to close everything at once. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is have this weekly option keep getting sold against our long option. And then we just call it, you know, we'll call it like a call, call tally. Oops, I have my caps lock on. Let's take that off. A call calendar, call calendar spread. Okay, and then we just save it. And now that's available to me. Here's something pretty cool that I found. I think it was an XLF. Let me go, nothing special. Let me go three years. So what the back tester is gonna try to do 
is look at doing this call calendar sp spread for the last three years. So it's a lot of tests, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll bet you didn't know that, that buying an at the money call in the XLF and selling a slightly out of the money call every week against it has returned a thousand percent in an ETF. And in fact, if we go further back, let's go back five years. So this is a pretty heavy back test, so it might take a second for it to load because it's doing um, several hundred trades. Yeah. So, you know, obviously we have to be very careful when we see large returns because at that point, you know, it sounds very swarmy, like, yes, 2,000% returns. We're obviously not saying that's going to repeat, but just to show you, it really does matter uh, which tickers you look at. And what I mean is let's look at it versus the SPY, the NASDAQ 100, and the Russell 2000. So let's see, like, the, is the XLF really different or is this just a bull market and this is what happens in a bull market, right? And this is gonna be, this is gonna give you empirical and explicit results. It's not just because it's a bull market. Obviously being in a bull market is helping this trade, but it is not identical for each security. So just let it do its thing. Uh, in the meantime, uh, are there any other questions? We'll just let this load. Uh, looks like we had a question from Paul, is the pro scan and discovery tabs included in the $69? Yeah, so that, that includes the whole pro software, which, which includes you know, the future features that will be implemented as well. Correct, so I'll, get, I'll put that um, URL up. So everything you've seen here, as well as the technicals, which aren't in the product yet, they're coming in the next five days, those are all included in the $69 uh, price. And so essentially what it means is that you're getting a subscription to what is called CML Trade Machine Pro. Trade Machine Pro grows. So two months ago, Trade Machine Pro didn't have a scanner. Now it does. Uh, it's going to have technicals in five days. And when I speak to another group of people in a month from now, I'll say, last month, technicals didn't exist. The product keeps growing. Your price doesn't. The price for other people will. Right. So we continue to raise the price on the Trade Machine, Trade Machine Pro, because every time we add more features to the back tester, it actually becomes computationally more expensive for us. But no member's price ever goes up. The only exception to that is, of course, if you cancel. If you cancel and come back, you're going to be at the prevailing price, which, you know, some people have done. Okay, let's see at our back test. Okay, so this is still a cranking out, but just look at the difference. This is the XLF in this call calendar. Here's SPY, QQQ, and IWM. This is the Russell 2000. So, okay, we can at least say, all right, it's a bull market, so it's always going to look green and gorgeous, and yay, if we could predict a bull market, that would be great. Still, if you're going to do this trade, it's wild. it has been wildly better in the financial sector than it has been in the rest of the market. These, these numbers are four or five times larger, right? So it actually does, this is part of the power of the back tester. Which securities do you want to try your strategy in? And you can test it empirically and explicitly. Uh, I said, uh, so put that URL up again here. Okay. Uh, are there any other questions? Or? Stanley asked, uh, does the does the software is it able to show any adjustments that you make? So in our in our courses for iron condors, for example, we have a very specific mechanical way of adjusting. And no, that's not going to be that's not going to be able to be shown in the uh, back tester unless you kind of piece it together with with a couple different trades right or i suppose you could create a custom trade but yep yeah. so great all right so i'm going to keep scrolling through these three said i'm not an options expert i've been using it for two weeks it's easy to use it is options for dummies <laughs> three, three. that's great all right um, okay, great. I definitely recommend, uh, if you sign up, we, in our welcome email, we send you a link to the, the, um, we can call it a user's manual, the eight minute user's manual. It's kind of dry stuff because we're not really talking about trading. It's a really valuable eight minutes. Within eight minutes, you will know how to use the trade machine fully. And just one example of that, which is easily missed. Let's say you have this trade, like, oh, this is amazing. I want to share this or I want to save it. If you click, well, first of all, you can share it on Twitter. I'll just do it right now. Here, I just shared it on Twitter. Um, but you can also save the address to a back test by clicking here. So if you copy and paste this and put it somewhere, I'll just show you, I'll copy it right now. If I open a totally new browser, right? It's a totally new browser, and I paste that in there, I get the back test back. It's all the companies I looked at, all of the specific settings. And so you can share back tests 
with people. You can even share it with people who don't have subscriptions, but people who don't have subscriptions can't do anything with it. They can just see the results. So um, if you ever have a question about a back test and you wanna contact support, the first thing we're gonna say is, hey, don't, get, don't send us screenshots, send us the link to your back test and we're happy to take a look. So just something to keep in mind. And this, uh uh, Ophir mentioned this, uh, the price will be, the regular price will be going up. And when that goes up, our, our special for navigation traders will, will go up too. And that's going to be um, uh, November 3rd, Friday, November 3rd. So if you're interested, make sure you make sure you get signed up before that price goes up so you can lock in that, that lower rate. Mm -hmm. Yep. And just so you know that we're not, uh, we're not kidding. Uh, so we have, I would say, hmm. I'd say at least 25% of our subscribers right now are paying $49 a month. So when we first introduced the trade machines for now, we just keep uh, escalating. And so, yeah, there are people who are going to ha essentially have a $500 a month product paying $49 a month or $69 a month. So it's, it's pretty cool. I think the way, I think the way we do it is fair. We give our early adopters, let's say the first few thousand people who sign up a really great price. And then the people who discover us a little later, yeah, they're going to be paying a few thousand dollars a year for the software. Uh, let's see, Stanley asked another question, said, uh, show, can you show us how to set up the trade? Uh, all the different trading strategies are a little bit different. Um, we have a lot of free videos and content and then really in-depth detail in our courses about all the different strategies about how to, how to set up each trade. That, that's kind of beyond the scope of this, this web class. Okay, excellent. And Ophir, if you're done, we can, I can take the screen. I just wanted to provide uh, provide our community here with a free gift for attending today. So thank you everybody for attending. Before I do that, anything else up here? No, that's it. Thank you so much for everyone attending. And uh, thank you, Steve, for uh, letting the navigation trading community uh, see the, the trade machine. We really appreciate it. And feel, feel free to take over the screen. So hopefully you should see my screen now. We do. Do you see the, uh, the Trade Hackers Ultimate Playbook? Yes. And my screen, okay. So what I'm gonna do for everybody who's attended here today, I'm going to give you our ebook. It's a 56 page document that, that details all the different strategies that we teach in our courses, 19 different strategies from iron condors to strangle, straddles, uh, put vertical spreads, call verticals, every, every kind of spread really you, you can think of. It's all detailed and laid out. Uh, a lot of our members use this as kind of a cheat sheet. They've printed it off and just kind of keep it on their desk while they're trading to kind of help them with setting up the trade. You know, that kind of speaks to you, Stanley, of, of your question about how to set up the trade. Uh, this, will, this will help be that guide. And then obviously you can, you can get on your platform and, and set it up. And we've created not only the specifics in, in writing, but also visuals to help you kind of get an idea. You know, if you're looking at your analyze tab in Thinkorswim, for example, and want to see the, the kind of the visual graph of the specific strategy, we, we lay that out in the ebook as well. So thank you everybody for attending and Ophir, unless you have anything else, we will sign off. Oh, well, that's it. Thanks everybody. Have a great rest of your week. Bye guys. Take care.